Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about cookies. So we'll learn everything we need to know what is cookie and how we can use cookie in our node server. So basically, I'm going to talk about express. So there are two things you might have heard cookie session and express session. Def uh, definitely, you can read about both of them. But in this video, I'm mainly focusing on cookie session since I just don't want to keep this video long and the idea is just to learn the cookie instead of like cookie session or express session and we'll see like how we can use cookie session for uh, I mean uh, in, uh, using our use cases for uh, generating sessions and all so uh, cookie session we use definitely we use it for uh, storing sessions but it's kind of traditional but yeah definitely if you will read about cookie session you will understand like how cookie works okay we'll start from very basics like uh, as you can see like i have this uh, vs code editor open here right and i have nothing here so i'm just going to write everything from scratch so the first thing you need is like node.js and you need basic uh, understanding of what is express so since since i'm not going to talk about uh, express in details all right so what i'm gonna do is like i'm going to uh initialize a new project i will be using switch yes and as i want it to set up all the basic details here and the first thing i will just do here is like i will write type module if you are not aware about what is type module then it will allow us to write uh, i mean yes module statements uh, such as import export and all those things and here from here like i'm just going to remove this test script and instead i will writing start and i will be using node mon i'm going to install it in just few seconds after so what i'm gonna do here is like i'm going to create one folder source folder here and inside the source folder i just need to have one file where i will be writing everything for this tutorial all right now uh, i need this node mon and i will be installing it as uh dev dependencies okay now this is installed right also i need uh, express so i'm just going to install it as uh, i mean save uh, that is uh, dependencies only so i'm writing express okay to create any express application the first thing we need to do here is like we need to import express from express and then uh, we'll have to create one express app and to do that i will be writing this way i'm doing a lot of typo here okay now to create any server to listen on any port we first have to write app dot listen and there here i can just put any number for the port uh but it should be open right and uh, the 4000 uh, i mean using i'm using 4000 right now uh, you can use any number like 8000 3000 and uh, th the port should be open and not occupied by any other application all right now the, the one thing i'm going to do here is like since uh, the server is running i just need to know like from any logs or something like this server is actually running so i'm going to write server is running on port 4000 okay to test this what i'm going to do i'm going to start this all right our server is running fine at 4000 uh, but i don't believe like this is running actually so to test this uh, what i'm going to do here is like i will be creating one route here and this will be a root route and on this route i'm just going to use couple of properties in callback and request response that is fine and here i'm just going to respond back something like hey welcome back something like that i'm just writing something random thing here okay now i need to open browser so i will be opening one tab here and here in the tab just going to write local host 4000 and we can see this log all right so in this video like we'll focusing mainly on the important things okay 
so in this uh, application tab you can see like the cookies we have this local host which i have opened here and uh, right now it is empty since we don't have any cookie and the server is not responding anything here not setting anything here and uh, let's see like what is cookie so for now let's just understand this is the stories okay so and uh, there's a limitation like uh, some bytes some mbs something like that you can definitely check it out what is the size of the cookie max size of the cookie and uh, the first thing what i'm going to do here is like i will be logging here few few variables where cookie can decide so i'm just getting like i just want to log headers here so what i'm going to do is like i will be writing request dot headers and i'm just going to log one more thing here cookie I'm guessing like cookie can be in these fields. So I'm just trying to log it. Okay. Now we'll go back in the browser and try to refresh this page and we'll go back in the VS Code editor and I'm seeing the headers here. So there are a couple of properties like host connection and these things. But I'm not able to find any cookie property here. Alright. And even in like request.cookie it is undefined. So there's no way like um, we're not getting it from anywhere since we're not means that means like we don't have cookie anywhere okay so the first thing how we can set cookie how we can use this uh, stories so to do that like the very basic thing like what we can do is like i'm just going to create one more route here and it will be get route set cookie what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one callback function which will be executed on this route and I need request and response from here. Now this request and response uh, before that, before responding to client like, uh, okay, cookie setup is done. And anything like that, I'm just writing it some random text. And uh, we just wanna do, I mean, we can set this way, response.cookie and uh, we can use user ID and i can just pass some random uh, number here and uh, let me just set one more cookie here like uh, cookie email and i'm gonna write uh, abcd at red gmail dot com that is fine for now and uh, the next thing we need to do here is like uh, we'll go back in the browser again and we'll try to refresh this page nothing is happening why nothing is happening the reason we end that is we have done things in different route that is called set cookie so i'm just copying it from here and i'll just duplicate the tab and we'll add this okay i forgot to add slash here now cookie setup is done okay okay just let me just go back in the application tab and see like if this there are the things available okay now we can see uh, email user id and you, the thing you are seeing here is like uh, percentage the reason behind that is coming is like uh, this is url encoded and uh, so if you uncheck this you will see this thing here appearing as url encoded but if you want to decode this you can definitely check this out and see the value here down in the below window okay now as you can see like uh, we uh, tried setting up cookie here and when it responded to the client uh, it automatically uh, being set here in the cookie right so this is uh, i mean automatic task uh, we are not doing anything like uh, we are just setting cookie in the response and this will be automatically set uh, even in this tab as well like if i refresh this space again uh, you see like the cookie is set okay so now what we can do here is uh, also we can see like here in header cookie is coming right here in here a cookie is coming but as you can see this thing undefined this thing is undefined here this requested cookies is undefined okay is there any way like we can uh, extract cookies from header and save it in different variable like cookies yes there's a way and to do that what we need to do here is like we need to install one library that is called cookie parser so right now it is not able to parse cookie 
now we have installed cookie parser and i'm going to import it from cookie parser this time what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do here is like I'm going to set up cookie parser just after uh, express app initialization and to set up any middleware like we use app.use so here we are going to use cookie parser what it will do is like as I said it will extract cookie from headers and set it in this field so to test we'll have to restart our server and this time uh, how we can test it we are on the default route so i'm just going to refresh this page and next time we're, we're, what we are going to say is like this is populated all right okay that is fine so now next thing uh, what we can uh, uh, explore here is like cookie session so there's a dedicated library uh, we use for managing session uh, that is called cookie session uh, there's another library that is called express session but in this video I'll just stick to cookie session only so what I'm gonna do here is for now is like I will just comment out these two things since we don't need it and also I'm going back in that browser tab I'm just going to clear okay I've just cleared all the cookies from there right and now although like we don't need to use this route we'll keep it here only okay the next thing we are going to do here is like I'm just going to stop this server quickly and install one library that is called uh, cookie session okay now meanwhile wait is being installed I'm just going to import quickly although like uh, it is installed okay now we have this cookie session just like cookie parser what we can do here is like we can also initialize we can also configure our middleware that is cookie session in cookie session we'll have to pass some properties and uh, there's many properties but you know like uh, all of them are not required so i will be using uh, those things which are actually important so i'm going to use name and I'll keeping it session and uh, the next thing is like keys so what I'm gonna do here is like uh, just to show you like you can use multiple values here I will be writing multiple words here actually install skill alright the next thing what we can add here is maxes you want your cookie to be expired right just don't want to be available for all the years all the lifetimes yeah, just you want, you want it to be expired all right so for that right, like it is in milliseconds so what we can do is like we can you put thousand for the one for one second and if I add 60 then it will be one minute and if I add 60 then it will be one hour and then we can use 24 here it will become one day actually one day of expiry all right so now this cookie session is done so what it is going to do so this time uh, what it is going to do here is like uh, it will store something in browser is it something like that Let, let's check this out first and if I am going to refresh okay for that like I just have to run my server first nothing is happening here nothing happened here also nothing happened all right so how it is going to help us even in like uh, cookies right now you see like there's nothing so what we are going to do here is like uh, there can be scenario like you're doing some authentication and you are setting something in the sessions and those cookie session will do uh, something like is like your pick pick up all the session values and uh, encode it and then save it in the browser cookie so uh, I'll just show you in detail uh, just now so what I'm gonna do here is like I will be um, modifying the session so um, session object so what we can do here is like we can write this way and as we did uh, some time back here in this 
similarly i'm going to write this way now and also like i can add some more properties like email and this time i'm going to use text and uh, what i'm going to do is like install skill at rate gmail.com all right so this thing what i've done here is like i've added user id and email and now let me just go back on server and try to rephrase this and you can see we have a value here for this session key which we defined here in cookie session property with name as session and it is storing the same uh, i mean it is using the same uh, name as key for this thing and what is this value I, I don't know like what is this value how we can know like what is this value so let me just uh, double click and copy it i'll be opening some b base 64 decode website where i can just decode it so basically it is uh, base 64 value if i decode it you will see like okay so this is the data which we were passing it from the server so actually what it is doing is encoding it into base 64 then it is saving it here all right let me just rephrase it and now you can see like cookie parser is populating our cookie here and also like uh, in session we might be having this uh, this thing like i am going to create a separate route that is get cookie and in this route what i can do is like i can use request response and uh, here what i will do is like i will console log same thing session and request dot session if i go back in browser instead of set cookie i'm just using get cookie okay i also need to respond something to client so here what i'm gonna do is response dot json or respond dot send since we are not responding anything to the client i mean in json format so getting cookie here and this time like uh, we should get this value okay and now if i go back in server we can see like okay this was the session uh, which we stored on browser and also now we are getting it in session as well so what expression i mean cookie session is doing like it is encoding all the data we shared in session and then saving it in on browser while responding back to the client and similarly like it is decoding as well right so it is also decoding the same thing so you can definitely use this for multiple purpose like even for authentication as well but there's another library that is called uh, express session so how that is different is something like uh, it is no it doesn't save all the data on the browser cookie unlike this it doesn't save all the data on the browser cookie instead what it will do is like uh, it will save just session id so that's a topic for separate discussion or separate uh, tutorial so we'll talk about that in details till then thank you for watching have a nice day Music.